Six games into the 2015 season, the Liberty Flames are feeling deja vu. After last week's upset loss at Gardner-Webb, the Flames are 3-3. Three and three. That's the same record Liberty had through six games in 2014. What came next was a four-game win streak, a Big South title, and an FCS playoff win. But while there's reason for optimism, the Flames know there's no guarantee that history will repeat itself. We always talk about uh, you got to get better with your craft. And uh, again, we did some good things, we just didn't do enough good things. And uh, we got to do it for four quarters and, and not just a half. And so our guys are ready to go to work. The big thing for us is, you know, just do just do your assignment. Don't worry about other people. You know, it's not it's not my job to worry about, you know, what the safeties are doing or what the D-line is doing. And it's not their job to worry about, you know, what I'm doing or what the receivers are doing. And um, I think that just comes with, you know, so much youth being on uh, – on the sides of the ball. The Flames made their share of mistakes last week at Gardner-Webb. The loss now puts Liberty in a precarious position. No team with two conference losses has ever won the Big South title. With five games to go and an 0-1 conference record, margin for error is now non-existent. Every game we got treated like this is um, like like it's a championship game because to us it is um, without with a loss uh, in any other. Big South games, that means probably no playoffs, no 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 championship rings, no nothing for us. We got to look at the season like we're 0 and 0 right now, and we got to win the rest of them. We, our backs are against the wall right now, and in order for you know us to accomplish things that we wanted to accomplish going into this season, we got to win them all. But before the Flames can win the rest of their games, they must first win one. Saturday, 22nd ranked Liberty will take its first ever trip to Monmouth University in West Long Branch, New Jersey. Monmouth's off to a 2-4 and four start, and the Flames have beaten the Hawks each of the last two years in Lynchburg. But last year's game was close. Liberty scored 10 fourth-quarter points to escape with a 34-24 win. You know, it took us a, a while last year, about three series, maybe four, to really realize what was their theme uh, because they changed up pretty well. So uh, we know we're going to have to make sure we uh, put together a good game plan that will allow us to keep the ball in front, not fall for gadgets. They play a lot of zone coverage uh, so they can rally to the ball, uh, and they've been opportunistic. And, you know, like I said, they'll come up and hit you. They're physical, uh, and they go for the ball. Uh, so, you know, we've got to do a good job of protecting the rock, and uh, we've done a decent job of it this year, but we've got to keep, we've got to stay on it. Monmouth has forced 13 turnovers in six games this year. That's the 10th highest total in the nation. Meanwhile, Liberty has only turned it over six times in as many games. The Flames will try to reestablish the run game this week against a Hawks defense that's letting up 153 rushing yards per game, sixth most in the conference. But the Flames will be without senior tailback DJ Abner, who had season-ending ankle surgery after getting hurt at Gardner-Webb. Uh, it affects the run game. You know, DJ, uh, I feel for him uh, as a senior. Uh, it's a tough way to go out and uh, knowing that uh, he's not going to get a chance to go back out on the field. You know, it's, it's a really heartbreaking deal for that young man. It's a loss for us, obviously, but, um, you know, you saw what happened last year when we lost uh, Dez for the year and DJ had to step up. So now uh, Dez and, and Todd are going to have to really, you know, carry the workload. I'll probably get involved with the running, running game a little more now, just like I did last year when Dez went down. Offensively, the Hawks were held to just 115 yards last week in a 37-7 drubbing at Charleston Southern. First-year starting quarterback Cody Williams is a work in progress for Monmouth, but his athleticism makes him a threat. Williams is fourth in the Big South, averaging 206 yards of offense per game. If that continues, he'll be the first freshman quarterback to average 200 yards for an entire season. Uh, you've seen him improve from game one uh, to the last game each week. Uh, he's getting better in understanding their scheme. And I think the first three series are going to be the most pivotal for us defensively to set the tone. Uh, that's what we got to do a better job of, is just setting the tone. Uh, and like I said, I, I, the games we've done that, set the tone early, is, is, is proven very successful for us. Head coach Turner Gill also stressed the importance of playing well early in this ball game, also stressed the importance of winning the special teams battle. Coach Gill said that the Flames haven't won all phases of special teams yet this year. If you look back to the Gardner-Webb game, Zach Parker returned a punt for a touchdown, 71 yards. It was Liberty's first punt return for a touchdown since Kevin Fogg did it in 2012. But later in the game, the Flames also had two field goals missed and another one blocked 
while Parker also fumbled on a punt return late in the game. Coach Kevin Callahan of the Monmouth Hawks stressed the importance of wanting to get better on third down conversions. Right now, his team ranks 101st in the country, converting on just 30% of their third down tries. Coach Callahan also said that Liberty, while very athletic and very well coached, also said that the Flames are going to be coming in with an edge on their shoulder after last week's loss to Gardner-Webb. Callahan said that he hopes his Hawks team will come in with that same kind of edge because they're also 0-1 in the league. Saturday's kickoff is at 1 o'clock. Live radio coverage begins on the Liberty Flames Sports Network at 11.30 on the journey. In Lynchburg, with the Flames, I'm Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flames Sports Network.